Okay, everyone, we're going to start to plan out our ideas for our monochromatic value paintings. So you're going to start with this brainstorming worksheet. Put your name on top. Four questions you have to answer and complete a sketch before you move on to your final painting. So first question says, which element of art will you use? Emphasis, depth, unity, or space? So take a look at this worksheet at your table. This will help you remember what the element of art is and a couple ideas of some students in the past who have completed that element and some example pictures. So use these at your table to get some ideas. Remind yourself of what those elements of art are, the four elements. So I do not want you to copy one of these paintings. I just want you to look at these to remind yourself what those elements are. So you'll choose one of the elements that you like the best. So I picked space. Next question says, what will the subject of the painting be? So I picked a landscape, meaning an outside scene. Kind of like the ones on this worksheet right here that show a landscape, an outside scene um, with values going back into space. So I picked a landscape. Number three says, where will the range of values be in your painting? So I said that the values are going to recede in the hills. So in my painting, I kind of want to have a landscape that has some hilly areas and they're gonna go way back into space. So they're gonna recede and start dark to light. So that's how I'm gonna plan out my values. Final question says, what color will you choose? So you're picking one color and black and white. Remember, that's what monochromatic means. So I'm gonna pick red for my painting. Finally, I'm just gonna roughly sketch out my ideas. This does not have to be perfect. This does not have to have every detail in it. Just kind of sketch out your plan, okay? So once you've done that, you're gonna start something called a value scale. So you'll need this worksheet right here. This is where you're going to practice creating a scale that goes from white to light values all the way to black. So you're picking one color and you're mixing it with white to create light values and black to create dark values. So at your table, you're going to have a mixing plate. You're going to have a tray with a water cup and a rag to wipe on. You're going to have a brush to mix up your colors. And then you'll need to scoop three colors into one of these trays um, by the sink. So you're picking one color plus black plus white. You don't need very much, just a tiny little bit of each color because this is just a practice worksheet. We don't need a ton of paint today. So what I'm gonna start with is white. Dip my paintbrush in white and paint this whole first box white. I know it seems kind of silly to paint that box white even though your paper's white, but just so we're sure, we have practice painting light to dark. We're gonna paint this whole box white. Okay, next, I'm gonna start with my lightest value. So that means I'm gonna mix my color plus a lot of white. So on my mixing plate, I'll take my color, just a little bit, because we want a lot of white. Then I'm gonna wash my brush off and get it really clean, dip in my white. Now look how much more white I have than red. You want a lot of white. So mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. This should be a pretty light value of red. It's kind of turning a pinky, pinkish shade. So that will be in this box right here, light value. Now this value right here is light, but it's not as light as this value. So I'm just gonna take that exact same pile and add a little bit more red to it. So it's still a lighter value of red, it's kind of a pinkish, but again, it's a little darker than this box. So again, I'll take that color and paint. Now this box says any one color. So I am starting with red. That's my one color that I picked for my painting. So I'm just gonna take only red, no mixing, just the color red. Okay, next box says dark value. So that means my color plus black. So I'll need to make a new pile this time. Get my color. And I don't wanna add very much black. I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny bit and put it next to my red. The reason why is because black is a very overpowering color. So it's gonna make that red dark super quick without a lot of paint. So I'm gonna mix it up. It's gonna turn my red a darker shade of red, kind of like a maroon. So I'll use that to paint this box right here. Okay, going on, darkest value of red. So that's my color plus a lot of black. So I'll take that same pile again and just add a little bit more black to it. Again, black is so overpowering, so you don't need very much. So again, this looks almost black, but it is still a little bit reddish. So that's the darkest value that red can get. 
Okay, finally, my last box is just black. So I'll just take black and paint in that whole box black. So when you're finished, it should look like, like a pretty even scale from light to medium to dark of one color. So one color plus black plus white. Okay, so you're gonna complete your brainstorming worksheet first, then your value scale second, and that's your goal today.